in order to be able to serialize and to deserialize objects instantiated from a specific class, we should at the minimum declare that class as a serializable one, meaning we should use the serializable attribute when declaring that class. In addition, we can also declare that class as class that implements iSerializable. iSerializable interface includes one method, the getObjectData. This is the method that shall be called on objects instantiated from person when they are being serialized. This method has two parameters. The first functions as a dictionary on which we place all values of all fields we want to serialize. When the opposite process takes place and deserialization happens, a new object from person from the class person shall be constructed using this specific constructor, a constructor we should declare with parameters identical to those we have in the get object data method. Here we can extract back the values that are placed on the serialization info object, an object that functions such as a dictionary. Let's see how does it work.